it was really fascinating over the last few months of really listening to our stylist and really seeing and feeling how we've evolved and yet we're still helping people feel really good. For me it feels like a higher responsibility as well which, um, which is lovely. I think before people are coming to you and you know we're ob you're obviously always looking after them but but now you, you know that they're really looking forward to seeing you and they're really grateful so I think that feels extra special as a stylist to feel like you're not just giving them a haircut to go out they just really feel like they're you're bringing them back to being themselves after months of you know them feeling like they've been getting away from themselves. I'm way more confident talking about the future with people now than I was before because of how we work and it's just in my nature now. It's never just about today, it's about the future. It makes me feel so good to know that we have so much potential and power in ourselves to just make people feel good by just looking and listening and, you know, stroking virtually. You realise that you're changing people's lives, making people happy. Um, you're kind of a psychotherapist. It's nice because they offload on you, but you make them feel good. I think the atmosphere and the way that we have not been taught, but the way that we do things is really professional and it just makes you feel like you're quite important. They're proud of their equipment, they're proud of, of how we do it, they're proud of what we offer and, and they, you know, I think they, they embrace it and I'm just happier, happier to be recognised as not just a hairdresser. I, think, I do feel like more valued in society as a, as a, as a trade. People want to feel good and more so now than ever before. Because the connection between yourself and your customer, your guest, is more important than ever before. People are just really changing it up, which is nice. It kind of shocks us as well and then gets you, keeps you on your toes a little bit. Things have definitely moved and changed. I think people have had more time to sit with their hair and sit with themselves. I think it's really been a time for them to learn about what's important to them and how they want to feel. Our conversations have definitely moved. We've had to be stronger with our conversations just to find out more information about the guests because as they're evolving, we've had to evolve with them really. So I think until you get that rapport with the guests and you learn about that guest and the more they get comfortable with you, then the conversation opens up and then the creativity can open up because you can go, actually, you know what? You should have some of fun. Yeah, like, yeah. Why are you just doing this? It's been brilliant. It's never been a more, for me, more exciting time um, to be a hairdresser. Guests are much more open, which allows me to be much more creative. And you're given the time to actually create the vision that you want with their hair and it's in a lovely environment. And I just think, yeah, it definitely just makes you more passionate, it makes you love the job more, it just makes you more creative. You see the difference between someone coming in and someone walking back out. And I think to know that you have made someone feel that way, to, to know that you have made someone smile from ear to ear is the nicest feeling. It's what they give you back, the, the care they give you back and just the joy that you give them, like from having their hair done and they come out and they're like, oh, I just feel myself again. And you're like, well, you have been yourself, but you put their new hair on them and they're like, oh, I, I am me now. And it's, it's just nice to see that.